Hey guys, so this video is going to be a NYX haul. Cherry Culture was having a 40% off sale that I couldn't pass up, so I got a few things, um, which I do not feel guilty about because it was a really good sale. So, um, real quick, if you're a subscriber of mine, you might be wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit and I guess makeup and I look the same as my last video, and that's because I literally just filmed it five minutes ago. Um, Today's my day off, so if I'm going to film a video, it's going to be today, and because I'm going on a little trip next week, so I'll, I won't even be here. Anyways, okay, so that's why. I know it's like a YouTube no-no not to wear the same outfit, but I'm going to do it regardless. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my NYX haul. Um, let's see. Start with the lip gloss. This is NYX's beige, and no, it doesn't look beige. I know every time... Someone makes a video with this lip gloss, they're like, why do they name it beige? Because it's pink. Yes, it is pink. I wonder if NYX did that because they wanted you to ask that question. <laughs> because when I saw it, I was like, that's not, that's not beige. Like, what are these people thinking? But, yeah, I, I think they did that to get to us <laughs> and make us think about the product more. I don't know. Anyways, it's not beige, though. It's pink, and it's beautiful, and everyone who has a NYX lip gloss, usually has this in their collection. So I jumped on the bandwagon, and I got it too, and I'm happy about it. And you can still see the swatches from my last video down here, so we'll work around that. But this is a beautiful um, pink color, so I just wanted to have it in my collection. And if you don't know anything about the NYX lip glosses, um, they're really, really nice. They smell like the cherry medicine. So if that's not your thing, then you're not going to like this because it is a really strong smell. It doesn't last a long time like the scent doesn't. So you can get over it, but if you don't like the cherry uh, medicine smell, you're not going to like these. I, however, am obsessed with them. Ugh, I love the way they smell. And they're amazing quality. They're not sticky. They last a decent amount of time, and the applicator is really soft. So... All around, I really do enjoy these a lot. Um, so I just picked up one more just because I have a lot of lip glosses right now, more than I need to have. So I just wanted to get one. But I did pick up some other lip items, and these are the NYX Extreme Lip Creams. And I really do like these. I have three of them already. They're the neutral shades. I can only wear one of them because the other two are, like, way too light for my skin tone. Or not my skin tone, like, my lip tone like it just makes me look dead so the one I'm wearing right now is strawberry jam no yes no yes <laughs> strawberry jam and they actually gave me two of them so I'm gonna give one away to a friend um because I don't need two of these I'll never finish these up these last like forever and I never wear bright lipstick so by the way if you think this looks okay will you like thumbs up or just comment down below and say Yes, Charlotte, it's fine. It looks it looks fine. Because I wouldn't wear this in public because I'm I'm too not afraid, but it's out of my comfort zone, so um but yeah, so let me know, like, yay, nay, I what do you think? Um so that's strawberry jam and then I also have Bonfire and I should probably swatch this just because. Um so that is strawberry jam. And it's beautiful. And this one's very similar to Strawberry Jam. It's just like, it's got a very subtle difference in the shade. So you can see here. Um, I'm not going to try and describe that because I would slaughter it. But this is just a bit more lighter. And it's kind of red. Whereas this is a deeper jammy color. Um, basically. But I do really, really like them both. My dog just sat on the perfume. I'm going to return to the store, so I'll be right back. <laughs> so, basi <laughs> so basically, my dog was trying to like make a nest on the chair, but my perfume that I'm taking back to Ulta was in a bag, and he like somehow clawed it out of the bag and was like trying to nest with it. I don't know. It's Prada candy, and I do really like it, but I'm not in love with it. I want something like floral and sweet for the summertime, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm thinking about getting Viva Lo Juicy. Um, I just don't know how long it wears, so if you do, let me know. Um, I know that's like a whole other tangent, but it's like my graduation perfume, so 
my mom kind of like sponsored it as a gift so I do want to exchange it for something so <laughs> so this is Dolly Girl and this is what Dolly Girl looks like it's a very bright pink color and I don't typically go for the bright lip products um, but I thought because of the 40% off sale if I was ever going to try one now would be the time so <laughs> Eventually, I'll put this on my lips, but I really do like the formulation of these extreme lip creams. I find that they're really unique. They're they're kind of like a lip gloss. They're like a sticky lip gloss, but not sticky in the uncomfortable way. Sticky in the sense that they're going to last. Like, I've had this one on for over two hours, and I've been talking because I've been filming videos, um, and it's still on, and it's it's on like all over my lips it hasn't come off where on the edges I mean that's just my lip line that you see there but that it's not from like it actually coming off that's just where I applied it so I really do like these I think they have amazing quality um, for the price so yeah that would be my recommendation out of this video is to try one of these out um, they have bright shades and they have neutral shades and pinks and reds and all kinds of stuff but I really do like these a lot so I got those and then the last of the lip products are these um, eyeliner, not eyeliner, <laughs> lip liner pencils. And so this one is in the shade Rose, and I really like this one a lot. Um, it's just like a pink color. It looks really pretty on the lips, though. Super, super pretty. Love this one, love this one, love this one. It's, it's amazing. I really do like this one. And that's in Rose. And then... Um, this one is in the shade Ever, and it's like your lips but better. It's just a teeny bit darker, but not, not really. Um, it's just my lips but better. So that's Ever. And this one, this one's in the shade Natural. So, I mean, it's, yeah, that's a natural <laughs> lip liner. It's a teeny bit darker, but I put it around my edges and, like, blend it out. And then, what's another one? Oh, this is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. So these are more neutral shades, but I really do like the Peekaboo Neutral and the um, Ever. And then this one I'm not that crazy about just because I'm not going to wear it a whole lot. But this is in the shade um, Burgundy. And this is like a dark, I guess, wine red. So, probably better in the fall time, um, not so much right now, but it just, like, if you look at the top, it looks lighter than it shows up, so, um, I do like the quality of them, though, they're really affordable, so, um, I don't mind them. So, I've kind of been trying out these lip pencils, I think they're okay, um, I like the Jordana lip liners a bit more, just because they're they're creamier and they don't tug as much but these are still really nice lip liners I just put like a lip balm on my lips in the morning when I'm getting ready and then I put these right on top and then I it actually helps me more because then I can blend it out and make it really smooth and even um, but putting this on top of like my dry lips it's not that it tugs it's just not as smooth as like the Jordana ones but these are still really nice um, for the price and they have a ton of colors so I mean purples and like shimmery pinks and oranges and like just all kinds of colors so um, that's everything for my lip products so just like a few more now um, I got two of their powder blushes which I love I'm definitely kind of collecting these because they're so affordable and I love the shades and the quality so this is in the shade nutmeg and I saw this in a video and fell in love so that's nutmeg. Really, really, really pretty. Um, I had it on earlier today, but I think it came off. These don't last, like, super long like the Tarte ones would, but they last a decent amount of time, especially for the price. Um, I do really like them, so. Uh, this one is in the shade Angel, and this is like a light, shimmery pink color. That was a bad, <laughs> that was a bad swatch. So there's Angel. There we go. And then I have two of the cream blushes. Uh, this one is in Boho Chic. And this one's going to go really nice with that angel color. <clears throat> um, 
If you haven't tried the cream blushes, but you do like cream blushes, then these are a really good way to go. They're extremely pigmented. I take the Real Techniques stippling brush and just tap it in a little bit and then blend it out, and it works really well. Um, these are really nice cream blushes. I'm I'm super impressed with them. When I first um, got one, I was I put it aside and didn't touch it for like a few months because it was so pigmented. It kind of scared me. I couldn't apply it the right way. Um, but I finally figured it out. I just take the sibling brush, pat it in like not even hard, just tap it out, and then kind of pounce it on my cheek and then blend it out, and it works really well. Um, really great for pairing with the powder blushes. Together they last a really long time, so um, that's why I like these. So this one is in Boho Chic, and it's just like a light pink color. I think it's got like a tiny bit of sheen to it because there are like subtle um, flecks, which I don't think you'll be even you'll be able to tell in this video. But it's just a nice creamy pink. I really like this one a lot. So that hopefully that's a good swatch. But that's boho chic. And then the other one I have is tickled and. I got it because I have the Balm's Hot Mama blush, which is like a rosy gold, and this is a rosy gold, and it's beautiful, and they go really well together, so, um, this is the shade Tick. God, I have so many swatches today. Um, this is the shade Tickled, and where can I, I put it right there. I'm running out of room. So that's Tickled trying to like show you how it would look in the light. Um, so that's a really pretty color also. Just one more close up because it's super, it's a really interesting blush. I really do like it a lot. So there we go. And then the very last one I have is this HD um, grinding blush and I don't know. I just, I saw um, people using like this Smashbox Halo blushes and I thought that's a really cool idea because it's a loose um, powder, but you don't get all of the mess. So this is in the shade Georgia Peach. And it's kind of cool because they have like a mirror and it's got a protective sticker here. That's why it looks weird. But it's actually like a mirror here, which that's really neat. Although it would probably get covered in the stuff. But anyways, um, very sleek packaging. I just, I don't know, I'm kind of impressed. These are like $15 normal. Uh, normally priced, so I wouldn't spend $15 on them, but if you're 40% off, it's not so bad. So you just kind of turn the cap, and you can see it grinds them out, and then I'll just put some on my finger. So there's Georgia Peach, and that's a really light pink color, and I'll put it right here. It might look chalky because I grabbed, like, a ton of it. Um... So that's Georgia Peach. And I haven't really tried this one out as much um, as the other products. But I do really, really like the concept. I don't know if I would get a ton more just because the packaging is kind of bulky. And I don't see how this would work better than any other powder blush I have. Um, I don't know. So, But, I mean, it was nice to try. It's a really pretty color, so I'm not, like, disappointed with it. I'm just not blown away by it. Um, so yeah. Also, like, I know they have the HD, um, powder, the setting powder. If you've tried that and you like it, will you let me know? Because I was thinking about picking one up, and actually I had a customer at Ulta come in the other day, and they got it, and they weren't sure about it, and I, I wasn't sure about it, but I really wanted to try it. So, um, if you know anything about the setting powder, will you let me know? Um, this just reminded me of it. I also have, like, the e.l.f. setting powder, but I never really use it. Not that it's bad, just the the packaging really bothers me, kind of, not really. So that's everything for my NYX haul. I was really excited to get it all, and I'm really excited to try it out. Please let me know if there's any other products that you think I should give a try, like the HD setting powder. I haven't tried their mascaras. I haven't tried their um, lip plumping, lip glosses, and like some other stuff. I haven't tried any of their concealers, um, any of their like HD products besides this um, blush I got. So if you like any of those, then let me know so I can try them out next time I want to spend my money on something. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. I feel like 
I could film another video. I could just keep on keeping on, but I'm probably going to stop here because I, I think people get really upset when you wear the same outfit twice, so I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!